Let us pray the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our Father, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we continue to celebrate the season of Christmas, we ask the Lord for the gift of generosity, that like Him, we may give ourselves to others. In this Mass, we remember our personal intentions, the intentions offered for this Eucharistic celebration, and for those who ask our prayers. In a special way, we pray for our benefactors, especially the Wong Chu King family. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are pleased to shine forth in new light through the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that just as he was pleased to share our bodily form through the childbearing of the Virgin Mary, so we too may one day merit to become companions of the Virgin Mary in the kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now, the testimony of God 
is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony of God has given about his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life. God, and he, this life is his Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life. Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life. You who believe in the name of the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Let's all stand. The heavens were opened, and the voice of the Father thundered, This is my beloved Son, listen to Him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days 
that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear friends, we continue to celebrate the season of Christmas. Kaya huwag po muna ninyo tanggalin yung mga Christmas decors ninyo. Kasi bukas, ipagdiriwang po natin ang Epiphany or what you commonly call as the Three Kings. No? Pero ang katotohanan niyan, it is the revelation of Jesus. The Epiphany of God made man. And the Feast of Christmas is an entire season which concludes with the celebration of the baptism of the Lord, which is on Monday. So, hanggang Monday pa po, pwede pa pong mag-greet ng Merry Christmas. At yung mga hindi pa po nakakuha sa mga ninong at ninang ng Aguinaldo, pwede pa pong humabol. Today, the Gospel tells us of the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River by John the Baptist. So what is the difference between the baptism of Jesus from that of John the Baptist? John the Baptist baptized through water at the Jordan River, calling people to repentance, calling them to make straight their paths and return to the Lord to prepare to receive the Messiah. So John the Baptist prepared the people to receive Jesus Christ. While on the other hand, the baptism that we have in the church as we celebrate these days is a sacrament. And we all know that a sacrament is instituted by Jesus Christ. And this institution of Jesus makes us children of God by wiping away original sin from us and makes us heirs to the kingdom of heaven. So that is a difference. The baptism of John the Baptist was a baptism of conversion. While the baptism of Jesus wipes away original sin, wipes away all sins, and makes us children of God and heirs to eternal life. In other words, it is a sacrament that opens to the reception of other sacraments. So, magbibinyag ka, mapapabinyagan ka, o ikaw ay tatanggap ng binyag, pagkatapos mo tumanggap ng binyag, pwede kang tumanggap ng ibang sakramento, like confirmation, first communion, then confession, uh, matrimony, or if you want to be ordained as a minister, holy orders, then you receive the anointing of the sick. So, baptism opens to us, my dear brothers and sisters, a life of grace, a life of newness. And that is what we are reminded by Jesus, who humbled himself, though sinless, though Jesus is not an ordinary person because he is true God and true man, yet Jesus subjected himself to be baptized by John the Baptist, someone lower than he, as John the Baptist accepted that the one who comes after him ranks ahead of him because he existed before time and he exists from the very beginning and does not have beginning nor an end. And so we are invited to meditate and reflect on our baptismal character. In baptism, we have been made children of God. And in the gospel today, it concludes saying that a voice from the heavens was heard saying, This is my beloved Son, listen to Him. In baptism, we have been made beloved children of God. And therefore, 
as children of God, we have been made heirs to eternal life. There is now a possibility for us, my dear friends, to enjoy the life of God. So in baptism, eternal life begins in us. So nagsisimula ang buhay walang hanggan sa ating pagkabinyag, sa pagtanggap natin sa ating Panginoong Diyos. At dahil dyan, we became God's possession. Kaya nga sa binyag, ano ang ginagawa? It's not only water that is poured in the sacrament of baptism, there is what you call the anointing with chrism. And what does chrism symbolize? That we belong to God. God is our master. God is our father. God is our ruler. So, gaya ng baka. Pagka ikaw ay may baka, at gusto mong malaman kung kanino yung baka, titignan mo yung marka ng baka. Usually, may ginagamit silang tattoo, di ba, ng mga baka. So, in baptism, ganun din. Tayo ay napahiran ng langis. At yung langis na yan, nag-iwan ng mark. It became an indelible mark. And that cannot be erased. So, we are only baptized once. We cannot be baptized for a second time or third time. Why? Because in baptism, we have become God's possession. And as God's possession, God has marked us to be His own. And therefore, we ought to live according to our baptismal promises. And what was our baptismal promise? We promise to turn away from sin. We promise to believe in God, to follow the example of our Lord, to live the commandments. In other words, we promise to live as God's beloved children, heirs to eternal life. So let us ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary that as she who listened to the Word of God and acted upon it, we may also imitate her in loving Jesus and that with her love for Jesus, we may also grow for our love of neighbor or one another. So let us celebrate the season of Christmas by imitating God's generosity. As St. John says, For God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. So on our part, God gave us His Son. On our part, we give ourselves to God. We surrender ourselves to God because in the end, we are God's possession by virtue of our baptism. Please all stand. At the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan, we are reminded of our own baptism, where we were made children of God, enabling us to call God our Father. We now approach Him as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God, who are was cleaned by baptism, may enjoy the freedom of the dignity as children of God. We, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the state may protect and pr respect the freedom and dignity of each citizen by implementing programs which will improve their quality of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the families and communities may truly experience their oneness with one another through their life and practice of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may be freed from their physical or physiological infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let, that the faithful departed may come to share in the happiness of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, in Jesus, your Son, we are made heirs of your kingdom. 
Grant that as we pray for one another, we may inherit that kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to, our, to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let's all stand. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with that needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deep and trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salve Regina. Mate misericordiae, vita dulce do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules fili eve, a te suspiramus, gementes et plentes, in hoc lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Iesum, benedictum fructum vetris tui, no peace, pass of exilium, ostende, O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genetrix, ut igne fischemur pro missionibus Christi. Oremus, omnipotens sempiterne Deus, qui gloriose virginis matris Maria et corpus et animam, ut dignum fili tui habitaculum effici merere tu, Spiritus Sancto cooperante preparasti, Daud cuius commemoratione letamur, eius pia intercessione, ab instantibus malis, et a morte perpetua liberemur, per undem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Please be reminded that tomorrow is the solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. And on Monday, that is January 8, we celebrate the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, which closes the season of Christmas in the Latin Church. We also begin our Triduum Masses in honor of Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno every 10 o'clock starting today up to Monday, and the fiesta of the translation will be on Tuesday, January 9. Regular weekday mass schedule will be observed. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer before we crucifix. 
Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. The no dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.